Welcome back! Alright, so last time we got to the end of chapter 1, but I'm not really happy with how we did it. I feel we could, we could get a better ending. Um, I really want to try go back and try and save the cultist girl, because I thought she was dead on our playthrough, but then Roxanne says she's not actually dead, she's just like mostly dead. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reload back to where she gets shot. Uh, we survived Buck, I think. Stop! You'll hit the book. Okay. Lancelot, but instead I hear footsteps retreating. Are you alright? <clears throat> myself down quickly. I. Uh, but what hits? I didn't lose consciousness. They know okay. you have to leave this room eventually, so they don't let your. Okay, the cultists have retreated. Uh, what were you were saying? Okay, yeah. So now we're going back to do the rock balloon thing. Okay, so I think we can save that. I'm pretty sure we can. What do we need? We'll get back to your rock balloon. Don't worry. Ah, uh, da 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 da. To heal the injuries, place coat mask on your face and light the green candles. Got that. Yep. Okay, those look green. Uh, we need... Intended target isn't the caster. We need this symbol and then we chant that. Okay, let me look at her. And... Wrong symbol. Wrong symbol? Oh, okay. This is another one. There it is. There's very similar symbols. Alright. Uh, let's give that a go. We're facing her. Wearing the mask. Do the thing. Yay! She's still alive? The Thousand's tenacity is something else. What have you done? Why did you heal her? Oh. I'm sorry, Roxy is just so cute. Okay. He knew I was in here with you. And fired anyway. Yeah. Buck's a dick. Like I said, never had a good experience with someone called Buck. You heard it too, right? Right. You said to stop shooting because they hit the book. Mm. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, poor Nanny. Is it just me or is she acting different? Thanks for bringing me back. Or whatever. Huh. Thanks? Did she just say thank you? Roxanne, what's happening? Her desire for Buck was what drew her into the woods. Now that her desire for Buck is zero, there's nothing to amplify. That's all. Okay. Really? She's not one of them anymore? Hey, if I untie you, you won't attack me, right? No, Stardust. Think. Crisis of faith or not. She is still with the Thousand, and just tried to kill you. She literally has your blood on her hands! Yeah, I guess there's that, but... <sighs> I'm not gonna kill her, okay? I felt bad about that last time. I slipped the guitar strap ar from around her wrists. There, how's that? I'm not gonna say thank you for releasing me, too. You're the one who tied me up in the first place. Or mind control cultist. I'm leaving. Bye. Stardust, we're going to regret this. Yeah, probably. Have a little faith in me. It'll be alright. Well, 
I do feel a little better that she is not here with us anymore. Nanny not being around is fine by me. Okay. All right. So. Let's do the rock loom thing. I am going to edit this down so you lot won't have to sit through the whole thing again. So if anything different happens, I will drop us back in. What? <sighs> okay, I guess they are like less satisfied because they haven't had human sacrifice. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we've unlocked this other thing here. Not down. Okay, yeah, so... Saving Nanny makes this ritual a lot harder. Okay. Let's do this. Way too gay to be doing this. Okay, we got this, we got this. Come. Um. This is a lot scarier than the last time. Alright. Okay, so... Get the... No, I'm going backwards to save. to go out and then leave immediately all right <sighs> yeah, this, is a, this is a lot like this was less scary last time oh my god okay it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine la, la, la. come on Okay, maybe this is why human sacrifices might have been worth it. Oh, come on. Let's look around. And now we leave. Okay. Right, right, right. 
right, right, right. Uh, oh, no, no, map. No. Oh. Ah. Okay, yes. Oh, wait. All right. Phew. Yes. We get back to the bedroom. Read the ritual. Okay. All right. This is where we got to, died last time. We open the bag. We see the blood. And then... <clears throat> we got this. Big thing. Read the ritual. this another go. Yes, blood, blood, blood. Come on. How wonderful. <sighs> With all of this fresh blood, we're as good as home free. Whew. Yeah, that was... A lot more stressful without a human sacrifice. Pay attention, kids. Learn from that. Learn from that, whatever you will. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. I know it's a lot to take. Well, permanent entities like myself and Buck can take Stardust. Occultus asked me the same exact question once before. When I gave him my answer, at first he laughed as if I was joking. Shortly after, he was disappointed and confused, as if dissatisfied with my answer. But then, as he began to mull it over, it slowly began to drive him mad, until finally... He ran shrieking into the woods, and I never saw him again. I don't know. Oh, it's coming. Is it fuck? Did Nanny spill the beans and say how close we are to finishing? I really miss my bass guitar. This is it. Whatever happens, I can't fail. It, for my sake. For Roxanne's. Do I... Do... No. Should I... Any minute. No. Could be anyone. Okay, that was a little leaf of baby. All right. <laughs> Nani came back. Hurry, get in here. Please, I almost took her head off. She's back? Why? 
Because I'm leaving too. And the only way I'm getting out of here is if you finish your rituals. I gotta get back to my folks. And you do too, so... Actually, thanks to the Thousand, that's no longer a possibility for her. Oh. Were they... you know... Did... we... I take a deep breath and force a small smile. I swallowed hard, forcing the familiar lump in my throat back down. And you saved me anyways? I don't know how I could even begin to thank you. Well, you can start by helping us escape. Having an ex-cultist on our side evens the odds greatly. It does? Since she has children, she has the same superhuman strength and tenacity as the rest of them. Mm -hmm. You got superhuman strength? Huh? What are you talking about? I do not have kids. What do you mean? You've been Buck's girlfriend all this time! Inside my aura of desire, no less! How haven't the two of you had kids yet? Why don't you tell me? You're the space goat with magic powers or whatever! How come instead of bringing me and Bucky closer, you ruined everything? Ruined everything? You two seemed pretty close before he, um, shot you? I mean, I guess we'd be close if I ever got to see him or have any time alone together. I mean, that was what I thought all of this was gonna be. He told me that the Black Goat of the Woods was like some goddess of love or lust or whatever. So I was all like, OMG, that's totally hot. Let's summon her right now. Yeah, never works out. But like, as soon as we did, he stopped talking to me. Between you and all the other girls that wander into town, it's like I'm invisible or whatever. Oh, sweetie. I guess that explains why Nanny thought I was here for Buck when we first ran into each other. For a second back there, I thought he'd realized how much I meant to him. Back when he said you can keep the book and the god if he just got me back. Aww. But I guess I'm like. Hey, don't get yourself down. There's plenty of other violent cult leaders out there. Yeah, there sure are. I'm sure you'll find the right one for you. <laughs> Thanks. But I think I'm swearing off of skulls and robes for a while. After we do these rituals, that is. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Here's everything you need for the next one. Saved you the trip. Oh. Thank you, Nanny. Really? She was returning just to help me? And so after this, reality will end eventually? <gasps> And I'm part of this dream, meaning I'll probably vanish too. Most likely. But that makes me your dream girl, technically. Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> still feels good. Well, that's one takeaway from the existential atom bomb I just dropped on you. But yes, I suppose so. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I know a girl who does this, just turns into a random password generator whenever she gets busted. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool indeed. But it's about to get very, very hot. Uprooting me will cause the entire Black Woods to burn down. So you'll need to run. 
If the woods were able to lure you in all the way from wherever you were living, it means its roots have grown that far. That will burn too. How far am I supposed to be running? I would say 60 miles just to be safe. That's still way too far. Doing this is going to burn everything down within 60 miles? It's a small price to pay to excise the woods from your planet. Left unchecked, they will envelop the whole Earth, turning every human into either a cultist or fertilizer. Just think of it like a widespread forest fire. And not even the worst one you've seen. Humanity has dealt with far larger wildfires before. Your towns will heal. So I just gotta run for it once the fire starts. Don't stop running and leave the book behind to burn. If the thousand ever recovered it, they could seed the Blackwoods again. And this will all happen for nothing. But what if they save the book before it burns to You're never gonna make it out, anyways. The thousand are ready to die for Buck. They'll mob us as soon as this place starts burning. He's got a point. Here. If you take my old rose and mask, mm. you can, like, okay. slip right past them. I'll stay behind and make sure the book burns. Oh, I can't have to ask her to sacrifice herself. I'll absolutely accept the offer if she wants to, but I would ask her. What about you? Won't they kill you if they see you without your cult stuff? As if. They know my face. <laughs> if they see me running away, they'll let me go. We gamble, but... Well, she has a point. Here. Try this on. I slip the robes on and tuck my head into the goat skull mask. It's snuggly. It fits. Do you know what that means? Queen of the Cultists? That the disguise will work? Well, yeah, but more importantly, it means we're the same size. Oh my god! <laughs> no, my boobs are bigger than yours, sweetie. Can I totally raid your closet on my way out? Because, like, I didn't want to say this while we were trying to kill each other or anything, but I love your pastel goth look. So cute. Oh, yeah, take whatever you want. It's all burned into the ground anyway. Awesome! Stardust, no! We're so close to escaping! You can't throw it all away now by trusting her! If the book doesn't burn, all of this will be for nothing! If you trust her, and then she hands the book over to the Thousand, both of us are going to pay for it. She already switched sides once today. Hmm... I think we can trust her, right? I mean, she likes our outfits. She gave us a skull mask. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna trust people to give me good, good skull masks now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I've lived by worse rules. It could, it, it'll, it'll work out. I got us this far, didn't I? <laughs> we won't let you down. What? She... <sighs> Alright. I just... I want this so badly. And I don't know if I have any hearts left to break. It's okay, Roxy. We got this. We're good at this, right? Come on. Let's head on down to the root room and finish this. Fine! Okay. Oh, hey, there you are. Looking a lot less shot. Okay. So the terrifying firstborn things are elsewhere now, thankfully. So I think we're okay. Might still be cultists, but no, we'll just go we'll go cautiously, but I think we're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. I, 
I could not live this minimalist. Like, I have too much stuff. All right. Let's do this. Okay, which will... Uh, 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 go to the home, whilst facing the heart's trance, that's... Okay, do I have everything on? I got my robes, I got my bag of blood, I got my sprayer. Okay, I think we're good. Umlatar nur hork furtog... Umlatar nur hork furtog el froda hork. Yeah, I did. You really actually did it. Hey. You're my ride or die, Roxy. And so the Blackwoods have been destroyed. May something green and good grow from its ashes. I am so, so proud of you. Mm. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, she's proud of me. It's ironic, isn't it? The day I get my wish of never having to see a human again is the same day I finally meet one worth knowing. Mm. There she goes. It's like an oven in here already. I hear frantic commotion. Happy they must butt. be coming. I look down at the purple ritual book. Hearing Roxanne's worries echo one, one more time through my head. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't imagine the night ending with me willingly handing a book over to you. Oh my god, right? Like, totally not what I expected at all. Oh. My besties. In a burning, elvish infested house. But it's fine. Besties. You know, Buck really wants this book. And now that the woods are all burning down, he'd probably give anything to have it back if we went back to the thousand together we could ask for anything <laughs> no none of that no relapsing don't join cults whilst things are on fire kidding kidding i was just kidding jeez well mostly no he takes a long look at the book before tossing it into hey, the fire. This is like so embarrassing to say, but I think we would have been besties if things were different or whatever. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. Thanks. See ya. Hey, trying to burn to death, right? Her smile's really pretty. I wish I could have met sometime else too. Time to go. Hopefully this disguise is enough to escape. Escape. Hey, we didn't get shot in the face. Hey. Is that you? Uh yes. Shoot, I wasn't ha expecting her to talk my way out. Um yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Boots, fire, and stuff. Do I really have them all full? Damn it! That outsider must have completed the uproot ritual. If we rush her, we might be able to save the book. Okay. Right. No way the book is burned all the way yet. I need to find any more time. Wait, I'll like. Totally get the book myself or whatever. Really? Yeah. Nani, you're amazing. Yeah, I am. You're a true believer. <laughs> I can't believe you sacrificed yourself for all of us. Ah, uh, you know. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Yep, scamper along. Right. Morons. Yeah. 
Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, up to the door. Oh, shit's on fire. I hate being in burning buildings. Not really that many over the years, but, um... None of them were ever a happy experience. Family room. Ah, there we go. to look up. Okay. I made it. I survived the night. I've got a long way to go before I'm clear of the wildfire, but I'm ahead of it for the moment. I'd better be sure to ditch the robe and mask. I don't want to be mistaken for cultists once I'm home free. I lower my mask solemnly and watch my child at home burn to the ground. The house creaks loudly as the wood f wood foundation splinters. Large sections of the house begin coming down in cinders, burning any cultists unfortunate enough to have been trapped beneath. This should be the end of the disappearances. Oh. Oh no. Wait, what's that? Another episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. Sorry, I ended up not giving the book back after all. <laughs> Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. Next time on Sucker for Love. House of Wax. I can't wait. House of Wax. Yeah! We did it! Nanny left the thousand. Yeah, Nanny was cool in the end. You know, after she started trying to murder us. And we're not having to beat her with a bass guitar. It's amazing how much better relationships are when you're not trying to stab or bludgeon each other. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it here. Another little short one. And next time, episode two. The House of Wax. See you then. Goodbye.